so hey guys how are you doing i am back with another video for my addicted blogging channel and here i have times with bpu and times with gts2 mini and in this video we will compare the gps of ms with gts2 mini with times with bpu and this will be a sick video guys as always and if you are a tech enthusiast don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be bringing more videos like this so first of all ms with bpu doesn't have an gps in there so it takes the data from the device which it will be connected to so if i have connected my phone with ms with bpu it will use the gps of the phone and calculate the distance traveled and everything with that data we will compare the ms with gts2 mini which has an inbuilt gps so i will wear both the watches and will travel the same distance and when i will be coming back i will tell you guys about every single data which will be there regarding the gps and this will help people to make better decisions among the ms fit watches if they are planning to buy the ms fit watch which doesn't have a gps connection and also an ms fit watch which has the gps connection so let's wear both the watches in my hand and let's go for a walk outside and i will be coming back within few minutes and tell you about the data which i have got here so here you can see i am outside and i am just working with the watches and i have switched on the outdoor running workout mode for both the watches at around same time and at the outside i am just working with both the watches to see what is the reading there and you can see here that i have recorded some of the moments outside where i was wearing the watch here you can see that it is showing me the time of the outdoor running uh, workout mode and it was showing me all the necessary details like the stride frequency how much calorie i was burning even it was showing me the heart rate diagram so it was really detailed info both the watches were showing here is the hr diagram you can see highest and what is my heartbeat per minute it was showing and also the pace diagram every single thing it was showing in the workout mode if you want to view you can see the pace diagram here fastest and average pace i was maintaining here again you can see the hr diagram the highest and average heart rate it is showing me so we can see that there is very interesting results we are going to see here uh, the workout mode is running now also so totally i have walked you can see a total time of 36 minutes i have walked i have not ended the workout mode and you, you can see that i have just taken off my watch that's why it is unable to calculate the heart rate but the lights are glowing to calculate the heart rate actually so here i will end the workout and show you guys what is the result of the gps test here and everything so let's end the workout to end the workout i will press and hold the crown of both the watches at the same time so you can see that i have end the workout here and the workout is here and as soon as i end the workout it is showing me the map here which is the gps map you can say whatever distance i have walked it is showing me in a map where it can be determined easily how much workout i have done and how much distance i have covered so as soon as i end the workout it is showing me this map and if i slide right you can see that it will show me the hr diagram here so both the watches i have wore it at the same hand and same time like two three seconds here and there i have started the workout mode of outdoor running workout mode was outdoor running which i started and you can see that the hr diagram is there so i have started the workout mode almost the same time and if i slide right you can see it is showing me the hr diagram here we see in the hr diagram the average heart rate was 120 in my gts2 mini 
which was in my hand and uh, the average heart rate in the BPU is 118 and highest in GPS2 mini is 145 highest in BPU is 144 so the readings are quite similar there is not a lot of difference here so if I am sliding up then I can see that it is showing me the pace diagram this is the pace diagram average was 16.38 and fastest was 5.29 in the GTS2 mini so I have halted or stopped working at some points to, so it is showing me the data like this so wherever there is a dent you can see that I have stopped working at that time and whenever I was working at my full pace it is showing me the graph just like that and in the BPU let's go to the workout history and check the check the pace diagram in G BPU also so in the BPU the pace diagram is 1703 average fastest was 935 so there is a bit of difference in the data you can see that in the workout history pace diagram there is a bit of difference so fastest is 529 here fastest is 935 here and average is 1638 in the GTS2 mini average is 1703 in the BPU so if I slide up again you will be able to see the warm-up time and everything so it is 13 minutes in BPU in the GTS 2 minutes 14 minute fat burning is 16 here also 16 minute aerobic 6 7 so more or less same type of data is there and in the map also if you slide up you will see the total distance and everything total distance is 1.36 miles here and in the kilometer it is showing in BPU so it is 2.15 kilometer in BPU so more or less same distance you can say average pace is 26.46 per mile here it is in kilometers that's why it is a bit different but more or less the same data average heart rate is more or less same only 2 beats per minute difference average strides per minute is absolutely same it's 70 in the BPU is 71 in the GTS2 mini average stride length is 33 inches here in centimeter so you can definitely change it in the zip app I have not changed that's why it is showing me in centimeter you can change it into inches if you want so calorie burnt is very important we will see the calories burnt in both watches so we can see that it's 278 kilocalorie in the GTS2 mini and in the BPU is 268 kilocalorie so it's more or less the same data in the both watches so this data is there in the watch itself you don't need the app to get this data if you want to get more information you have to get the zip app and open the zip app for your phone so if you want to go to the workout mode and check all the data in the zip app what you need to do is you need to open the zip app definitely and come to home page you can see that there it is showing that outdoor running is 1.36 miles and if you click on this you will see that it will show you the data and if you want to go to the workout history because you maybe have done more workouts previously in that case what you need to do is you need to click on this top right icon here and once you click on that you will get this option of exercise records so once you go there you will see that the workout history that is the outdoor running which I have done today it will be available here and once you click on that it will show you the map here so I will open both the workout history so that I can show you the data side by side here so once you go to the outdoor running activity which I have done today you can see it will first show me the map here and the map is a similar map you can see this phone is connected to MSFit BPU and we should be keeping in mind that MSFit BPU doesn't have a GPS in it so it was using the phone GPS but 
it has given the map data accurately as you can see if i slide up you can see that it is showing me that i have a outdoor running of 1.36 miles here it is converted to kilometer data is showing in kilometer here and you can see that the average pace it is showing 2646 here it is 1703 and here is the calorie Bond is 278 in the Amsfit GTS 2 Mini. In the Amsfit BPU, it is 268. In the Amsfit GTS 2 Mini, average heart rate is 120. Here, 118. Here, average cadence is 70. Here, it is 71. Average stride is 83. Here, it is 33. So, here is a bit of a data mismatch phone was in my pocket that's why it is considered my leg as the stride and here my hand as the stride anyways uh, rest of the data we will see and if I click more if I click on that arrow it will show me more data steps is 2591 in MSV GTS 2 mini it is 2588 maximum stride frequency is 115 here 113 here and best pace is 935 it's 850 in msv gts 2 mini uh, total time again and maximum heart rate is around same 144 and 145 now we will see in the more data section uh, it is the pace it is showing and it is a bit same but there is some differences to here I have stopped working so you can see there is a dent in the graph otherwise the graph is a bit similar and in the labs it is showing me the pace and more data here so here also it is a bit similar but in the atmosphere BPU it is showing me in three labs so again it is in kilometer and here it is in miles so this we need to keep in mind and here is the heart rate heart rate graph is relatively same here and apart from that there is aerobic 7 minutes of aerobic here 6 minutes of aerobic intensive uh, 16 minute here also 16 minute so more or less same data here relaxed I was 2 minute here it is 1 minute and here is the cadence so altitude is uh, extra data you can see in atmosphere GTS 2 mini because it has a barometer inside it is showing with altitude data also but in atmosphere BPU we will not get the altitude data in the cadence you can see more or less same graph uh, in the stride also you can see more or less same graph in atmosphere GTS 2 mini and atmosphere BPU so this is the total breakup of the GPS data for outdoor running in both the watches that is MSFIT BPU and MSFIT GTS 2 Mini so you can understand now that a watch which doesn't have GPS and a watch which has GPS in it has a similar type of data but in this case of GTS 2 Mini you can leave your phone in your home and later come and sync the data with your phone that will give you GPS data but in atmosphere BPU you need to keep the phone with you that will help you to measure the GPS data and the outdoor running and everything so that's it guys I think you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because I will be bringing more videos like this so thank you guys have a great day thank you